Alrighty now, welcome everyone to the I Talk Fortnite podcast episode number eight. Uh, podcast, uh, pod, oh, whatever. Anyways, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I did wake up very early for this patch. However, I haven't started recording this podcast until now, which is uh, eight thirty, when the patch has been out for almost two hours now. Uh, reason being is because uh, it turns out that uh, with the new leak skins, I kind of got overhyped on Twitter, and I thought that we were finally getting skins that would come out with power cord and that might actually happen but we don't know yet uh i'll get into that more when we get into the podcast but first i always got to say thank you all so much for the support we actually hit uh 5, subscribers yesterday and we're already a quarter of the way to make it to six thousand. so really thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you i greatly greatly appreciate it i love you all so much if we can hit, like, 10 likes, I'll literally drink water. No, I'm kidding. Literally kidding. We'll never do like goals. Only as a joke. Anyway, so let's get into the podcast. So, like I said in every beginning, or this is what I say in every beginning of the podcast, I basically just say this is meant for audio only. So, if you're playing Fortnite, Battle Royale, Save the World, Overwatch, RuneScape, whatever you want to play, you got me to listen to. Or if you're working, I like to listen to podcasts during work. You're more than welcome to listen to me blab about Fortnite. It's great. It's a win-win, I think. <sighs> All right, so let's get into the podcast. So we do have version 5.4, and I will quickly address the skin leaks that we did get this morning because they are kind of insane. So the first two skins we have here is the Synth Star and the Stage Slayer. The Synth Star is like... A very shitty power cord ripoff and the uh the stage slayer literally is um it's literally slash from guns and roses except he has blonde hair on this character it's fucking sick i love i actually do like both these skins i do wish the girl looked a little bit better but whatever and they're part of the garage band set not volume 11 set the garage band set now here's the new theory. Maybe when these two skins get released, they'll bring back Power Cord because they're both rock characters. That makes sense. If they don't do that, I'm going to literally cry because this is probably the only good opportunity that we have, but we're not done with the leaks. So after those two, uh, we have Field Surgeon and... Um, Oh, tri age trooper and these are both like medic skins i like the tri age trooper a lot he looks really cool the girl looks pretty cool too actually i like her helmet it's really adorable uh i'll probably snag both of those and they also ha come with a glider called the airlift which is pretty sweet uh then we have um hackavat which looks really bizarre and uh yeah, and it also comes with a glider called uh, Shadow Puppet. Very, very weird. Very weird. Th like, my god. And then we have uh, Garrison as a green skin. And then that's basically it. However, we do have a harvesting tool that caught my attention. And I'm very, uh, I'm very conflicted with it. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you know what? Actually, I think I'll just show you on screen right now. You, If you're listening to this, you won't be able to see it. Actually, no, I can't do it. Never mind. Scratch that. I can't do it. Uh, OBS is being really, really shitty right now. So, I actually cannot show you. But it's a, gli it's a uh, harvesting tool that has the same stickers as the stage dive glider. So maybe the harvesting tool is actually for power cord. And if that is the case, if this harvesting tool is for the volume 11 set, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting power cord back. But until I can confirm that this harvesting tool is part of that set, I, I can't say anything. I do not know until we get answers to that. I already talked to my my main source for the le uh, leakers. I, I I talked to a few. I talked to Sheena. I talked to Storm. I asked Sheena because I let because uh, me and Sheena go way back, and not really way back, but um, 
It's called the lead swinger. It's an uncommon, which that look, it's a mic. It's literally a microphone with a microphone stand. I don't know how the hell this is a green harvesting tool. It looks awesome, but like, we don't know what set it is in. I'm terrified that it's going to be a part of the garage band set, because if it is, that's that. Mm, I don't know that that makes it seem like we might actually not get power cord uh, back with these next two weeks, which by the way, because these are two new skins, we might see them today. I don't know yet, but that's always uh, that's always the thing. And uh, but yeah, th this harvesting tool doesn't look like it would match these two. I, I I don't know. Maybe it does. I just I'm just hoping it's part of the volume eleven set because if that is, like I said, we will get power cord back. That is basically a hundred percent confirmation. Because why else would the Red Axe come back? But that was part of the Fortnite set. So, I don't know. I'm just... I might be getting my hopes up a little bit. But, I, I don't know. I really... Just, you know, I really just want, uh, you know, Power Cord back. Uh, is, is that is that so much to ask? Is, is it really? Because I, I don't... Me personally, I don't think it is. We've been waiting for almost six months now. It's actually going to come up to the sixth month. Which is very surprising and uh yeah so we don't have any word on the on the pickaxe yet i will let you guys know when uh we find out if it's a part of the garage band set or not which i'm going to reiterate again even if this is in the okay even if this harvesting tool that is literally a microphone with a microphone stand even if this is part of the garage band set there's still a chance they could bring power cord back with the garage band set regardless so just keep that in mind you never know sorry i'm just drinking you never know so that's the leaks they look okay they don't look that great they're definitely not my favorite ones from this season but they're not the worst so they're okay if power cord comes back it'll be my favorite but until then we don't know yet. So now on to the patch notes. And uh, we actually got quite a few to go over. So the big update is high stakes. Welcome to the high stakes event. Assemble your crew for the, no the new getaway limited time mode and complete challenge complete challenge to get some free rewards. Wow, they really need to really, really need to change their website. They need to like update these articles so they're not like I mean, this is on Epic's official website, and there are spare spelling errors and stuff. Okay. Uh, they added the grappler, which is fucking dope, by the way. I used that already. And they add, they added uh, one of the biker skins, one of the white biker skins, into Battle or uh, Save the World. Kind of crazy. So let's get into... Let's see. That is... Uh, hmm. Okay, that is not... Okay. General bug fixes. This is actually, uh, actually, no, I, I can read these. Uh, let's see. Fix an issue that caused camera jitter when simultaneously canceling sprint while reloading and aiming down sights. Fixes rare server crash that would occur when a player edits a building. Ooh. Fix an issue that prevented weapons from firing when holding the fired button during a weapon swap. Fix an issue causing the crosshair to drift if player rapidly presses aim down sights with sniper rifles. Uh, fix some building destruction effects being played twice. Fix ammo quantities not updating properly to the inventory screen details panel. And fix broken anti-aliasing in handheld mode on Nintendo Switch. Okay. So yeah, we do have the limited time mode. I'm not going to get into... You know what? Yeah, I'll get into it. So we'll get into exactly what this uh, mode has. So mo mo mood. mode details, the jewels. So jewels can be found in special supply drop safes. Located along the edge of the first storm circle, the safe takes a long time to open, so make sure the area is clear before attempting to claim a jewel. Four jewels will be in play on the map at all times. If a player escapes with a jewel or one is lost in the storm, a new supply drop will bring a replacement. When a jewel is picked up, it will be visible on the map to everyone for 30 seconds. Carrying a jewel will give players health and shields over time. Oh, I didn't know that. But also slow them down by 10%. Four total getaway vans will be in the map. Three that arrive early in the match and one more that shows up near the end. Getaway vans float in midair. Jewel carriers must build up and then interact with them in order to complete a getaway. The goal is to find and steal 
goal is to find or steal a jewel and take it to one of the vans in order to secure a victory royale. Once they arrive, save drops and getaway vans will be visible on the map at all times. 12 red pursuit supply drops land at the very beginning of the match. These carry a variety of longer range weapons and other items, and they are the only way to obtain the new grappler in this mode. Resource harvesting amounts increase by 50%. Only rare weapons or higher will be found in this mode. Rifts, rift to go, and launch pads will be have been removed to reduce mobility for getaway van engagements. And profile stats are tracked in this mode, but umbrellas are not awarded for wins. So that's the mode. Fucking dope, actually. I've, I've been playing a shit ton of it this morning, and uh, it's very, very good. Would highly recommend you give this a mode a try. And by the way, the skin is not free. You hear me, Ghost Ninja? It's not fucking free. So stop lying to your fucking subscribers, homie. It's not free. So it is 2,000 V-Bucks. Kind of hefty. But uh, the event lasts for 11 days. And you only have to do th three very simple things to get everything. So it's really not that bad. But yeah, the skin is not free. And it's a dope skin, by the way. I love it. So the grappler was added. Fire at nearby object to pull yourself towards it. it. Can be found in vending machines, floor loot, treasure chest, supply drops, and supply llamas. Chain multiple shots together to travel great distances. I didn't know you could chain them. Has 15 charges discarded when charges are depleted. Epic rarity. Revolvers have been vaulted. Sad. Rarity color adjustments. Some items have been adjusted to their rarity. I won't get into that. Uh, well, actually, yes, I will. I keep saying I won't, but I will. I'm just... Losing my breath here, I gotta take a just drink. Okay. So, some items have been removed or modified to better reflect their effectiveness. This only affects their colors and other characteristics are unchanged. So, they vaulted the... Well, they didn't vault, but they got rid of the legendary uh, bolt. But the purple bolt does the same damage as the legendary. They never changed... Or no, they didn't like change the... They didn't change the characteristics of it. They didn't change the stats, is what I'm trying to say. So they removed the common suppressed SMG. Good. Uh, okay, good. Uh, removed rare rocket launcher. Availability of epic and legendary rocket launchers increased slightly to compensate. Uh, very, very little percents, but uh, yeah. Removed legendary bolt action sniper rifle. Removed rare pistol. Uh, remote explosives increased from rare to epic. Port of fort decreased from epic to rare. Semi-auto sniper rifle decreased from epic to legendary to uncommon and rare. Thank you. They were terrible. They were never meant for that, honestly. Uh, increased the frequency that the semi-auto sniper rifles dropped to align more with the rarity class. Same thing as the RPGs, basically. Dual pistols decreased in rarity from epic and legendary to rare and epic. Suppressed pistols decreased in rarity from epic and legendary to rare and epic as well. Burst rifle accuracy adjustments. When holding down the trigger, the first two bursts are more accurate. Spread down sights benefit increased from 35 to 40%. Crouch spread benefit reduced from 35, 25 to 20%. Uh, Jumping and falling spread penalty reduced from 25% to 10%. Sprinting spread penalty reduced from 30% to or 50, 50%, bleh, from 50% to 30%. Increased drop stack count from for boogie bomb from 1 to 2. Increased maximum stack size for Snake Bomb from 5 to 6. And increased maximum stack size for Shield Potions from 2 to 3. The big shields. Uh, fixed an issue that prevented audio and effects from playing on other players who are consuming a Shield Potion. That was a bug fix. Uh, oh yeah, gameplay. Let's see. In the moving storm phases, when the storm reaches its destination, it will cause a surge of energy that destroys player-built structures located on the storm wall. Okay. Okay, and we'll see how that works. Uh, fixed an issue causing supply drop landing effects to play twice in some circumstances. Fixed inconsistencies when auto pickup when landing on pickups and when pickups are first thrown for containers. Or from containers. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. More Nintendo Switch stuff. Boosted volume of the remote explosive placement sounds. Improved the quality of sound played when dropping from the bus on mobile Nintendo Switch platforms. Improved uh, spatalization of the chest open sound for other players nearby. Uh, reduced the spam of item pickup bounce sounds when pickups are sliding down hills. Thank you. Fixed several UI sound issues. Thank you. Emo pickers now available in the lobby. No longer limited to just the first emote selected in your locker. Dope. Uh, full screen map now supports touch on the Switch. Cool. Item shop now shows the item description when inspecting. 
Road trip week eight and nine display cor correct completion value now. Thank you. Fix issue where challenge bundles did not display the correct number of stars from the challenge tab. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fix issue where uh, style preview would sometimes not be centered in the view correctly. Banner rewards from the battle pass no longer show an empty description box. Uh, fix an issue when, where in re-rolling a daily quest in Battle Royale would not select the new uh, quest. Style gift boxes will now show in 3D preview character. Style gift boxes will now show the 3D preview of the character with the style implied applied. Uh, fix an issue where navigating the locker would cause some drop in performance. This is talking about Battle Royale. Did gifting actually finally come out? I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up the game at the same time I'm doing this. I know professional, but uh, curious. Uh, let's see. Fix an issue. I already did that. Fix an issue where changing away from the challenges tab would cause some information to get stuck on the screen. Fix an issue where continuously clicking on the select game mode page would prevent it from closing. Fix an issue where the where using touch and to open and close map will cause D pad controls to become unresponsive. And fix an issue with the loading screen showing incorrect information on non-party uh, members. Okay. Art and animation. Fix an issue that could cause player models to not appear while in game. Thank you. Fix an issue with spray quality temporarily appearing pixelated for some sprays. Fix the downshift glider rear light trails from clipping with geometry, but nothing about power cord. I do not get that. I don't understand why... They won't fix it. It's it's, it's just dumb. <sighs> that's everything. Everything else is Android, which I don't really cover mobile because it just doesn't really pertain to me. I only pertain to console and PC. And uh, yeah, that was the patch notes. It was a uh, a lot bigger of an update. Honestly, this was a lot bigger than last week's, which is good. Because I like, I like bigger updates, honestly. I really do. But uh, right now I'm in the item shop. And I'm just... Nothing on gifting. I don't see anything pertaining to gifting here. Uh, no. Nothing. So, that's kind of weird. But, whatever. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to exit out of this because I keep getting invited. Which, uh, by the way... I appreciate your guys' support. I really do. But try not to spam me with invites. That's all. Greatly appreciate it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually to uh, my previous episode and look through the comments and see if there's any uh, questions for me. And if you want to leave me questions, you can answer them in this comment section down below. And I will answer them. Please use the word question so your question is easier to find. Greatly appreciate you guys. All right. So the first question comes from Envor D, and he says, I found a site called called Playvig where you can do quests, get points, and buy things including V-Bucks. Do you know if it's legit? Probably not. And do you get a lot of firm requests in Fortnite? Yes, I do. Damn the day before yesterday, 3K, yesterday, 4K, now 5K. It's it's not that. It's not growing that fast, but yeah, it, it's insanely fast. So I appreciate your comment, Envor. Don't believe any sites that get you points for V-Bucks. It's gonna they're gonna benefit it off of it way more than you, and you're gonna get nothing out of it. Do not do that. I don't recommend it. From uh Sec C Grandma, I like what you did there with your name. Uh what shock you think what shock you think of my... Oh, wait. Wait, what? I think he meant do. What do you think of my idea? They could add an item to duos or squads similar to the Boogie Bomb, but instead of dancing, you throw it at your downed enemies and they instantly revives them like just like a normal revive. I've seen this in... um, I saw this on Reddit, actually. I think it's a good idea. Make it like a legendary. I think it's a good idea. I think that's legit a good idea. They should totally do that. I did see it on uh, Reddit before. I'm not saying you copied it, but I did see it. But that is a that's a good question. Um, I I would like it. That that would be that would be good. But uh, 
From a uh, hustle, they suspended me. I am says, are the podcasts here to stay? I hope you have no reason to stop. Just want your confirmation. You're my favorite YouTube channel at the time. You are so interactive with viewers. Hope it will still be a thing when you become famous. Hustle, I will not be coming famous. Uh, are the podcasts here to stay? Absolutely. I know these don't get as many views as my other videos, but I still like doing them. I still like doing them. It's just, uh, just something I like doing. I really, like I mentioned, I really want to get into radio or I really want to get into like serious podcasting. I'm dead honest with that. But thank you, Hustle, for your uh, question. And I appreciate the sentiment, man. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Sam says, will I play with fans? Occasionally, yes, I will play with my fans. I don't, I have so many friends that I actually play with already. So it's a little hard for me to play with everybody. So I hope people can understand that when you guys invite me and I don't accept it, I'm not ignoring you. I literally just can't play with everybody or I need to play solo for some reason. So from Valentine, when will you do a face reveal? I actually already did that. This is a little outdated, but I did that in my investigating Fortnite clickbait video uh, for Shuffle Gamer. So uh, thank you, Valentine. Uh, CDOT doesn't ask a question, but he writes, I find it pretty funny that your whole channel is revolved around a skin you don't even have. It's not actually revolved around that skin, bro. Uh, thanks for assuming shit, but whatever i guess uh so let's see let's see let's see do you think the leak t uh from uh, hokage to uh, tokyo do you see the leak titles there is one that's called it's back do you think it's gonna be power cord edit love your videos it could be it could be power cord it could be um it could be power cord it could be uh it could be skull trooper gold trooper it could be it could be literally anything so we don't know, man. We will have to see. But, uh, okay. We got more questions here. From OK Multiplays. Are you thinking of doing anything else other than Fortnite on my channel? Yes. Just not yet. Uh, probably more Battle Royale games. So, like, once, uh, once we can play, uh, the new, uh, Black Ops 4 Battle Royale, I'll give it a try. Uh, do I think I'll get 10k by the end of the year? Yeah, actually, probably I will. Which is kind of amazing to me. Do I have a PS4? Yes, just I don't play it anymore because uh, Fortnite's kind of taken over all my games. Skull Trooper, Ghoul Trooper, I like Skull more. Ghoul's cool too, though. Your favorite pickaxe? I like Anarchy X the most. Uh, one of my dreams. My dreams is just to be an entertainer and to be successful. That's all I want. And uh, he says, as always, I love you. Hashtag no homo. And your content. Keep the great content up and never stop doing this or never stop your great work. Multiplays, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. I talk Fortnite lover said I answered his question. Multiplays is his second account. Aw, that's fucking dope, dude. But uh, let's see. Do we have any other questions? We probably do. We might have more. No, that's actually it. But uh, trending videos asked me if I can make a video on the Fortnite meta. Uh, probably. I will probably do that, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of been talked to death already. Maybe I will. Doesn't d d I, I'm not going to say no, but yeah. So that's it for the podcast, boys. Uh, tonight, if you're watching this podcast on Thursday, tonight, tonight, we are getting new skins. If they are the rocker skins, there is a chance... That power cord can come back with them. Or the harvesting tool that we saw, that could be for power cord. We don't know what the set is as of yet. I will let you guys know. As soon as we find this out, I will let you know. And that's actually it for the podcast. I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. Oh, I did buy a... So if you guys have a Spirit of Halloween near you... Uh, they do have some uh, Fortnite-related stuff. I did buy two things online because there was no way I was going to get them in the shot, like, in real life because uh, they would have been sold out. I bought myself a real-life pumpkin launcher, and I bought myself a real-life uh, Rainbow Smash pickaxe. And uh, I'm really excited to show those off because I can clickbait the fuck out of it with that. But, yeah, pretty exciting. So... That's about it. Uh, I'm just going to check Twitter really quick one more time just to see if any leaks came out about 
the this new harvesting tool. I don't think it has. Oh yeah, uh, Spider Man comes out tomorrow, and uh, I am getting it. I am getting the new Spider Man game, so that will be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I do record it. I will be uploading a. Uh, I will be. Uh, I will be uploading it to my my GovHQ channel, not to this one. I want to keep this only to Battle Royale stuff and Fortnite, so that's really all. I haven't seen anything relating to uh, the harvesting tool yet, so I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite if you are wanting to keep up to date with these new leaks and what we got coming up. So be excited, guys. It's looking pretty cool right now. I'm, I'm liking what we're, we're getting, and we... Uh, we might finally be getting power cord back. Guys, thank you so much for listening to me blabber about Fortnite. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications just so you get all of my latest and greatest uploads. Uh, comment down below your questions if you want me to answer them in the next podcast. I will do so. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I already said that. Join the Discord. And I think that is about it. This is actually the ninth episode awkward well i'm not changing the picture see ya